Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Picks. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool kind of scrolling animation effect with a custom asset we're gonna be building in Figma. Let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, we're not actually going to be building this in Wix Studio today. What we're actually gonna start with is Figma. So the first thing I want to do is create a frame that is about 1280 by 720. So I'm gonna come over here to draw a frame and I'm gonna manually set the width and height to our desired height right here, perfect. So now that we have our like artboard or frame, what I'm gonna do is grab a rectangle tool and we're gonna draw this rectangle. Now for this rectangle, we're gonna come back over to the height and width and just set these manually to our preferred height and width and we'll go ahead and resize it. Now what I want to do with this rectangle selected is we're just going to copy and paste it. And if we press K on our keyboard or we can even use this little drop down option and press the scale tool, what we're gonna do is grab this second rectangle that's on top and we're going to use the Alt key on our keyboard and scale this down until we see that the width is 1024, perfect. Just like that. And with this rectangle, we're gonna set the corners to have a rounded edge of 24 pixels. And for the background rectangle, what we're gonna do is go over to the design tab and we're gonna set this to white. Perfect. So now what we're gonna be doing is grabbing both of these rectangles. We're gonna head on up to the Boolean groups and we're going to use the subtract selection. Perfect. So now what we basically created is this little cutout here that looks like this. And we're gonna be using this inside of Wix Studio. So for Figma, we can export this by just heading over to the export tab. You can export this as a PNG if you want, but we're gonna export this as an SVG file. And once you're done with that, we can head on over to Wix Studio. Now, while I'm heading over to Wix Studio and getting everything prepared, I wanna mention I'm not partnered with Figma and what I just created, you can basically create that in a lot of different software. It's not just Figma. Uh, I typically actually use Adobe Illustrator and I really like Adobe Illustrator for vector graphics. So that might be another good option if you have access to it. And the steps would be basically the same for Adobe Illustrator. But now that we are here in Wix Studio, we need to upload that element that we created. So we're gonna go to add, go to media, and we're just going to upload it really quickly. Fantastic. So now we are ready to get started. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna note that I made that graphic 1280 by 720 because we have our editing size here in Wix Studio set to 1280. Now that our editing size is set to 1280, I now wanna set the height of our section to 720, just like that. And now this is what we have. Inside of this section, what I want to do first is just add an image. So what we're gonna do is drag an image into the section and we can go ahead and stretch it. And just so it looks a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go ahead and change the image as well. Great. Now what I want to do is go ahead and add our graphic that we created. So I'm gonna go over to add, we'll go to media and we'll grab our little item We'll grab our SVG file and drag it out onto the page. Now for this, what I want to do is just kind of resize it to where it's like to, to the right proportions. Then we're gonna send it to the top left and we're going to expand this till it fills the section for us. Fantastic. Sometimes when we preview the website, you're gonna notice that it's not, there's a couple pixels on either side a little bit. So to prevent something like this, what we can do is with this shape selected, on all sides, we can just do like negative one pixel. And we can do that for all sides here. And what we're gonna wanna do is go to the section and we're gonna set the overflow content from show to hide. Fantastic. Now what we're gonna want to do is add a really cool scroll animation here. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab our little cutout here, head on over to interactions, and we're gonna add a scrolling animation. For the animation path, we want it to go to its design because the end result, we want it to be this right here. And for our effect, what we're gonna choose is shrink. Once we have that selected, we can go ahead and press adjust animation in the bottom right. And we can go ahead and adjust this to maybe be like about 220% maybe, maybe even a little bit more. Let's see. And as I'm kind of scrolling around here, 
you're kind of seeing what it's gonna look like. Um, I will say that might be a little bit overkill. So let's go ahead and kind of slowly adjust this until we're kind of happy with the way it looks. I think that looks pretty cool. And we can even adjust the animation area. Let's say we want this to actually start later and maybe end a little bit before it's gone. So now let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So it's gonna look normal for here and then it's gonna start appearing like that. This is also kind of a really cool effect as it's kind of leaving the viewport, it's kind of starting to like slowly disappear. That's also pretty cool. Um, but I think maybe 20 to maybe 60 would probably be the best here. Yeah, I think that looks really clean. So now when we go ahead and preview the website and we scroll up to the top, and we start scrolling down, this is going to be the effect. And I think this is really, really cool. Now, some of you might be saying like, why why go through the trouble of creating this little effect, creating this custom graphic? Because you can easily just simply add an image, which I'll just add one really quickly here. We can fill the screen, maybe round the edges here, and you can easily add an interaction to this of shrink and kind of create the same effect. However, when I preview the website and we just kind of test it out, you're gonna notice it's actually making the image bigger and smaller. The effect that I was trying to create here is that the image size doesn't move at all, but just a nice cool looking mask kind of comes into the view. And I think that looks really, really cool. And if you are someone that maybe likes this effect a lot, but maybe you don't have Figma or Illustrator or something like that, then I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download this asset. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.